Your body needs food to stay healthy, and it's the job of your digestive system to break down food into something your body can use. Oh, I am hungry. Yeah, me too. The food here smells great. Did you know your digestive system starts working even before you eat? I'm here to tell you how your digestive system works. Okay, mind if we eat? Go right ahead. When humans like you and most animals are hungry and see food, their digestive system starts gearing up. You begin to salivate or produce saliva. As you bite, your tongue positions food in your mouth. Your teeth starts tearing it and grinding it up into tiny bits. Saliva, or spit, helps soften the food, and your tongue forms the food into little balls called bolus and pushes them toward the back of your throat. Is that when you swallow? Yes, but you have to be careful. Your trachea, or windpipe, sits right behind your mouth, and sometimes food or liquid can slip in, and you cough. You need to chew your food thoroughly. Good advice. Yeah, thanks. What happens next? Well, now you swallow, and the small balls of food go into the esophagus. The esophagus is a tube made up of an elastic muscular wall. It's about 10 inches long and can expand to move food into your stomach. There are rings of strong muscles around the esophagus, and they squeeze behind each lump and push food along. This process of muscles pushing food along is called peristalsis, and you find the same action along the digestive system. From the esophagus, your lumps of food go into your stomach. Your stomach is a bag-shaped organ about the size of a fist when it's empty, but it can expand to the size of a melon when full. Once food reaches your stomach, juices containing a strong acid start to dissolve the lumps. If your stomach produces acid strong enough to dissolve food, how come it doesn't dissolve itself? Well, the stomach has a lining that releases a thick, slimy goo that coats and protects it from the acid. Bands of muscles around the stomach squeeze and shift the food particles around until they dissolve into a liquid called chyme. At the bottom of the stomach is a ring of muscles called the pyloric sphincter. Once food turns into chyme, it squirts through the sphincter and into the small intestine. The small intestine is a tube about an inch in diameter and about 20 feet long. It loops around inside your abdomen. The small intestine is lined with millions of tiny finger-shaped villi that contain enzymes that break down the chyme into nutrients or food chemicals. As the nutrients move along, they go into the blood vessels inside the villi and out to the rest of the body. What's left goes into the large intestine. The large intestine is shorter and wider than the small intestine. Hey, you want to see what one actually looked like? Sure. This is my large intestine. It was filmed during a colonoscopy. That's a procedure where a doctor takes a very small camera and inspects the large intestine for any signs of disease. The large intestine is a rubbery tube of muscle with a slippery lining. Its job is to suck water and salty chemicals out of the remaining food sludge. It's a slow job. Food sludge can spend more than 12 hours traveling through your large intestine. As you can see, my large intestine looks just fine. Oh yes, very nice. Then what happens? The large intestine collects the food bits your body can't digest. This is dietary fiber from things like vegetable skins. Fiber is important because as it sweeps through your system, it helps keep things clean and you healthy. There are other organs that are important to your digestive system. The pancreas is a long yellowish organ that releases enzymes into the small intestine to help break down food. Your gallbladder is next to the stomach and it holds a greenish yellowish substance called bile. The gallbladder releases bile into the small intestine to help digest fatty foods. And most important is the liver. It's the biggest organ inside your body and does more than 500 biological functions, like releasing hormones that help you grow, breaking down medicine and even poisons that enter in your body, storing vitamins for your body to use, and catching and killing some types of germs. Also inside your large intestines and even throughout your body are bacteria. There are about 100 trillion bacterial cells inside your guts, known as gut flora. Gut flora can make up as much as 30% of your body weight. Gut flora helps us digest our food and turn it into nutrients. At the end of the large intestine is an area called the rectum. Food waste, or what you might call poop, is stored there. Liquid waste, made up of water and waste chemicals collected by your blood, 
are filtered by your kidneys and sent to a stretchy bag called the bladder. When your bladder or rectum is full, your body sends you a signal telling you it's time to go to the bathroom. Really? Really. Now would you excuse me? Good job. You should always wash your hands after going to the bathroom. Gut flora is fine when it's in the gut, but if you swallow any, you can get sick. Gut flora comes out when you go to the bathroom and you can get some on your hands. So washing your hands with warm water and soap every time you go to the bathroom protects you and others from getting sick. I know, it's time for dessert. You know, your digestive system is really important. Your body needs 13 vitamins and more than 20 minerals and lots of other important things you get from food and drink. Your digestive system takes the food you eat and soaks up all those nutrients and sends them around your body. These are chemicals you need to give you energy, to heal cuts and scrapes, to help you stay warm, to help you grow and stay healthy. So eat right. We will. Won't you join us? Don't mind if I do. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website. You'll find facts, links, games, material for educators and parents, and much more. You'll find it all at sciencetrek.org. <laughs>